G'day folks, welcome to Wagman's Wagtail Workshop. So today I'm going to run through with you, or we'll just give you a brief overview of the different pads I have for the Wagtail um, and how they relate to the different clips I've made for the different Wagtails. I'm just going to give you a brief overview today um, and then I will be going through each one individually um, and, and how they relate to each clip modification individually over the coming weeks. Okay, so here are the different types of pads that I have modified to relate to the different types of wagtail uh, channels. Okay, so just giving you a brief rundown of each one. Here we have a, actually not a wagtail pad, this is actually from Bunnings um, and this is a 12 inch, already comes as a 12 inch, I've cut and modified, sewed on some tabs. This one here is, a, is your standard wagtail 14 inch pad, unmodified. This one is a standard 14 inch pad, modified, cut out and some magnetic uh, tabs put on there. This one is a, a strip washer, cut down, cut the, the disc section out and put the tabs on. This one is another strip washer. These two hold a lot of water, they're quite good because they're strip washers cut down and modified to suit the wagtails, they actually hold a lot of water. This one here is good for the one pass um, on on not heavily soil jobs uh, but still good for the one pass not really thick enough I'd like it to be a bit thicker same with this one here it's too thin for a, for a one pass as, you, as opposed to this one here perfect for the one pass it's quite thick so that's one pass this is also a one pass same nice and thick this one here is an 18 inch um, slightly wider wagtail pad uh, again cut out and modified with tabs this one has actually holes in them like that because that was for a different system that I had see those holes cut out um, I don't use that system anymore but I, but I still use the tabs which I'll show you in a minute this one here again uh, same 18 inch uh, wagtail pad but the standard width not the wider width same here this is a standard 18 inch wagtail pad this one I've thickened up to be used as a one pass because standard ones are way way too thin so you, even the standard ones you have to thicken up this one here is an 18 inch porcupine um, strip washer sleeve uh, you can see the porcupine bristles on this one quite good um, for like ballast glass balustrates and stuff like that where you want to give a bit more of a scrub um, again modified cut out with the tabs this one here is an 18 inch um, wagtail pad nice and thick and wide this is one of my favorite pads that's the rundown on my the pads that I use often and um, over the coming weeks I'll go through individually how I've made those and what I use them for so right now we'll turn our attention to the channels and the clips okay now the first channel is the yellow disc um, 12 inch wide channel and this one has the standard um, velcro clips this just suits the uh, the Bunnings type one obviously you can get 12 inch pads as well but the 12 inch standard pads you have to modify with these clips with these uh, tabs so this one obviously just goes straight onto there so that this one uses the velcro system which is it, it which is fine but you have to keep replacing this this uh, velcro material to keep this sticky this part of it lasts a long time it's this part that needs replacing all the time so that's your standard uh, clip velcro clip the second one 
is what's this one here okay the second pad is the standard pad which I then use these modified clips here which I'll show you how I do all right they uh, go with the you can just use a standard pad for that the next type clip I use is the magnetic clip which I have the magnetic clips sewn onto or just fitted onto these sewn on tabs which then magnetize to the channel okay I'll go in depth with these later on I'm just giving you an overview of the ones I use here this one here is extremely handy because what this allows you to do is modify your other strip washers put the tabs on and if you all you have to do is put that into there like that this one into there like that and you now have a swinging modified um, strip washer pad and so you can use that for any of your strip washers even your porcupine this is the 18 on the 14 inch but just to show you that you can just whack on your your, uh, your, your modified porcupine strip washer and uh, all of a sudden you've got a, a porcupine wagtail pad and uh, these clips can be used both under mounted and of course I won't use that one because it's too big for the 14 inch and of course um, top mounted so you basically just flick these around like so and you now have a top mounted uh, in a couple of seconds top mounted flip that off under mounted done very very handy these ones they don't look flash but they're really really good one of my favorites the uh, other type I use is again the modified clip here this is when I use my over-the-top mounted stuff for very high ledges this is where I have the water fed one and I've also cut off the lugs this is very good for the high commercial stuff um, with the over-the-top flip of the wagtail so this particular one because it's over the top mounted like this you can use your standard pad unmodified I'll show you that the uh, next one I like also is the uh, one pass one pass clip for the yellow disc very good I'll show you that also the the uh, modified uh, clips for the standard um, uh, wagtail pad which also fits the yellow disc combi but as a over the top mounted or under the under disc mounted all right so they're the clips and the pads that i'll be going through so they are the pads and clips that i use on a regular basis and um pretty much uh, worked out the best uses for them uh, but stay tuned because i'm going to show you how I've made this one and the pads uh, and, 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 and how this clip works. Um, I'm going to be showing you how I do that on the Wagman Wagtail Workshop right now. G'day folks, Wagman, Wagman Wagtail Workshop. So if you haven't, uh, and by the way, if you haven't already, hit subscribe so you can keep up to date with all the new videos that I'll be bringing out over the coming months. Uh, but this particular video is about the wide channel. Wagtail's wide channel and uh, the clip and the pad modifications that can suit it and uh, we'll get onto that right now. First things first, go to your local uh, office supplies and grab yourself one of these clips from uh, a binder or a file of some sort. These come in different sizes, this is the smaller one, you can get longer ones. I don't think you need the longer one this is the smaller one it does perfectly so once you've done that uh, of course you need the dog ear first and then cut your 45 degree uh, once you've done that you can line this clip up with that edge there the bottom line that up and then that will sit perfectly in that groove uh, it'll you also need to line up that corner corner and corner line up corner to corner and that will uh, sit absolutely perfectly 
on the channel. Once you've got that lined up, mark your holes, drill your holes, and simply pop rivet them in. They stick out the back there ever so slightly, but not enough to get in the way of anything. You can still even put your one pass clips on here, and it doesn't get in the way at all. Okay, so once that's there both in, pop riveted in both sides, dog eared clips in, you need to turn our focus now onto the pads. So let's take just a standard strip, wa strip washer pad. If you can leave this edge hemmed, ed hemmed edge on, great. Just trim it to the size you want. Now you'll notice here that I've cut out a section in here. This is for the yellow disc when you're um, under mounted. Top mounted doesn't matter so much, but under mounted, that's quite important to cut that out. Just lay your squidgy down, grab a fresh one of these, let's just suppose this is a fresh one, and just lay it over the top, line it up with your edges, and then basically and simply just mark that edge with um, your texture, lay it over, just draw your line in, cut that out, okay? And that will be perfect, perfectly sits in there like so. Right, so once the pad's cut out, you then need to get yourself some, I just use Velcro because I've got it around, but any quite, not too thick, because you want it to be flexible so that it flips. The reason you can't put this material, like you, you're, you're probably thinking, well, why don't you just cut the disc longer and use this material as your flipper. The problem with this material is it's too thick and it's too stiff. It won't flick. Um, it'll flick to a certain point, sort of about three quarters over, but it won't flick all the way. So you have to put a more flexible material on there. And you just sew it on. Sew it straight on, both sides. And uh, what, what you do then is take the channel that you've got your clips on. Uh, if we do an under-mounted disc, sits beautifully on there, just flick it underneath. This is where you'll see why we've got the cutout for the disc. Okay, now you can see the cutout for the disc. Like that. And that, uh, it, it doesn't get caught and bunched up on these. Uh, if that's running all the way through, it gets caught up on this when you're trying to flip it. Okay, you, that, you don't want that. Okay, and you can see how much that flips back, it's beautiful. Okay, it's a nice flip back. Now the beauty of this also is, is it's quick change. From here, simply pull it out. Don't move this, just flip this over. Lay it on top. Grab that uh, clip, put that one in. Grab this clip, put that one in. Sorry, right, taking a bit uh, thing out. Okay, and you've just changed it from an undermounted to an overmounted in seconds. And it, look how nicely it flips back. And then when it's wet, obviously it'll flip over more. And it's got nice coverage. You can make this as long or as short as you wish. Uh, whatever suits you. I like to make sure it covers nicely so that you're not gonna get any damage from the, uh, from the uh, channel. All right, there is the pad. Now, this obviously then can be, you can make this from anything you want. Like I said before, the porcupine is a very, very good one uh, to use. Again, this is for the 18 inch. Um, again, cut that out and sew these on. Sew these strips on, cut out for an overswing or underswing. Different type of, uh, this is a very, very woolly one. All right, so that holds a lot of water, this one. You can obviously do the uh, standard wagtail microfiber um, and add the add the just sew the uh, tabs on and uh, that works also notice the cutout that is very very important if you don't do that it's going to catch up 
All right, so that is the very first video on the clips and pads. The uh, this doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be yellow disc. This is just for the wide channel. So you could have the grey disc. You could have the, um, the the light blue disc. Either way, I love the yellow disc because that guarantees it's going to be a combi. There you go folks, I hope you enjoyed that uh, little demonstration on the wide channel, wagtail, clips and pads. Next week um, I will be concentrating on the, or demonstrating the slimline channel, clips and how the pads work. That's uh, one of my favourite slimline clips but I have others and um, I will demonstrate how to make and use those on the next video. Alright, so make sure if you're enjoying this channel, subscribe to it so you can keep up to date with all my new, um, new videos. And uh, I think you should give that a go. Uh.